Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the exhaust oil control valve solenoid on a 2012 Subaru Impreza STI with the 2.5 liter turbocharged boxer, I guess, four cylinder motor. Now, this motor actually is an IAG stage one built block. Drove perfectly fine and then one day it just started throwing some P0024 codes and interestingly enough on the internet it seems to be that people are advising folks to change this upper solenoid which is not the fix that's for a p0019 fault and a p0024 is actually a solenoid behind this timing cover on the bottom of the engine block really easy to replace i'll show you guys how to do that all right guys so to solve the p0024 problem on your subaru we actually have to replace the solenoid on the bottom side of the engine, which I believe this is what they call an OCV valve, oil control valve, um, and it's on the exhaust side. Now, a lot of YouTube videos will tell you that it's actually the top solenoid, and that's actually not true because that's actually for a P0019. So uh, once we remove the bottom cover off of our motor on the driver's side of the block, right in front or right behind this timing belt cover, you'll see the solenoid here. And it's got a grounding strap and then you've got this one lone connector that can just squeeze a tab and pull that off and then we're going to start off by undoing the ground strap it's a 10 millimeter bolt then we're going to undo one two three four bolts to take this entire solenoid assembly off now one of these is going to be a hex bolt or an allen head bolt so we're just going to take that all off and I'm gonna put an oil pan under the car just to catch any oil that might come out. And I'm just gonna use a tool here to very carefully loosen these screws. All right, guys, so I couldn't film this because I had to use my ratchet after all. So took off the 10 mil bolt, removed the ground strap, disconnected that connector, loosened one, two, three 10 millimeter heads, uh, bolts, and then we've got a five millimeter Allen uh, screw here. So placing an oil pan underneath it, we're going to undo this and remove the solenoid and the gasket from the block. All right, so that was super easy. So we're just going to take a rag. I'm going to wipe that surface clean. It's pretty clean as it is, but um, there is the old solenoid. Now I wiped that clean with a rag, but one real important thing to remember is that make sure that there's no debris from your towel or rag inside of those oil sort of uh, channels in the block okay so here is the replacement subaru corporation oil control valve coming from ja pen or the land of the rising sun part number one zero nine one seven aa zero seven zero took about five days to get in don't forget to ask your subaru rep for a discount because you know what these parts are stupid expensive for what they are the other thing that you're going to also need is this thing called a gasket for the oil control valve. Again, from the land of the rising sun. Part number 10924AA011. Installation is super simple. We simply place the gasket on here and then carefully hand thread the bolts in. That Allen head screw is the one closest to the plug. Okay, and then we're just going to snug these in a crisscross pattern, hand tight, and then reattach that grounding strap. Okay guys, so got a couple screws threaded in here. Service tip, when you guys are screwing this in, because it's going into the engine block, be very careful and respect that you can strip these very easily because it's an aluminum block and you've got a steel screw and sometimes these can be a bit corroded. So make sure that you inspect of the threads on the bolts, make sure there's no nicks or funky looking threads before screwing them into the engine. Now, the other thing too that I like to do is I like to turn the screw while pressing gently into the block counterclockwise so you can hear that bit of a click so that the threads don't cross thread. And that way it'll go in smoothly. Tighten them in a crisscross pattern, just hand tight and then attach this ground strap. Got everything plugged in, just hand tight. I got a bit of oil residue here, so I'm just gonna take a bit of brake cleaner just clean that up a little bit so that it's nice and clean wipe that dry and then we can reinstall our lower cover and take this for a test drive all 
Alright guys, so we've started up the car and I've got my test driver driving the vehicle. If you look at the four bottom boxes on this Cobb tuner, it shows us the intake and exhaust timing. And previously, that bottom left box, which is the exhaust uh, timing, would be up in the 40s and they wouldn't be even. And the intake and exhaust on both banks 1 and 2 should be even. And so after we replace that OCV solenoid, you see it's a 17 on the left and 17 on the right, and they change equally with the other side. So as you guys can see, fixing the OCV valve on the driver's side exhaust bank 2 to fix a P0024 can be done with some real basic tools and about maybe 10 minutes of work. This car drives and idles and goes into boost way better than it ever has. If you guys like this video, Give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.